in today's video, I'm going to be doing a massive Christmas Lush haul. This bag's empty, that's why it's super light. But I have bought like 15, 16 plus things, so yeah, it's huge. I bought things for my friend, my mum's friend, my my mum's friend's daughters, and my mum, and something from my aunt. Um, this video has already been filmed, but something happened to the footage, and film it again. So because I've got so much to get through, I'm just gonna pop right onto doing this video. Firstly, starting off with this huge box. It is the Art of Bathing gift set. There are 15 bath products in here. There's like about half bubble baths, half bath bombs. It says on the box, the ultimate bathing experience with this masterpiece of a gift. Featuring 15 bath time beauties with, made with fizz, sparkle, fruit and spice and all things nice. This is the perfect pampering present. So I'm giving two things to my friend, two things to my mum, two things to my mum's friend, two things to my mum's friend's daughters, and then the rest is just myself. Also probably end up sharing a bit of it to my mum. There is the Sunnyside Bubble Bar, Butterball Bath Bomb, Tasty Toasty Bath Bomb, the Avo Bath Bath Bomb, this Bingo Bath Bomb, Big Blue Bath Bomb, Amando Pondo Bubble Bar, Comfort the Bubble Bar, Creamy Candy Bubble Bar, Bright Side Bubble Bar, Dragon's Egg Bath Bomb, Think Pink Bath Ballistic or Bath Bomb, I'm not too sure. And Twilight Ballistic Red Bomb, which is just basically Something you can create like shapes with, also use a shampoo, um, soap, and a bubble bath thing. Um, and then also the Rose Queen Ballistic. So there's so much in here. If I got this for Christmas or for my birthday, I would probably scream and like start crying because I love Lush so much. This box is really pretty awesome. So the item I picked up for my friend is the Santa's Belly like gift set, but inside it has 100 grams of Santa's Belly Shower Jelly and 100 grams of Red Fun. So in the other box that I just showed you, also it has some Red Fun. This is so cute. Like you can use it, you can use it as a decoration. You can use it to store stuff in. You can use it as a tree ornament if you really want to do. But it'd be pretty big. Uh, or you can just keep like lush stuff in it too. So that's what I got for my. Friend. It says deliver straight from the North Pole. This cheery team will spread Christmas cheer with your treats you'll hold dear. And also, ho ho ho, Santa's been filling his belly with jelly and fun. If you've been good this year, he's all yours. So, the thing my mum got for my nana is the Pearl Massage Bar. This is what it looks like. It smells very subtle and faint. It has these like pink rocks popping candy things in here. I'm not too sure what it is, but this smells very, very nice and lovely. And also, we got her another tin. So now for myself, I firstly picked up the Magic Wand Bubble Bar. This is very, very advanced from what it was last year. It has glitter all over the top now and a silver bow, which it didn't have last year. Still has the belt and it still is on a stick. It's still got the pink star and still smells strongly as snow fairy. I love this so, so much. If you're a really pink loving person, you will adore this. It smells so good. So the next thing that I got is the Stardust Bath Bomb. This smells like toasted marshmallows and just really subtle and faint again and just really lovely and pleasant. Like it's, it's something that will make you feel very sleepy and I think relieve really stress. I think this was around $6.95 or $75. It's also got this blue little pocket inside it. My friend and I actually watched a demo of this being done and it turned the water light blue and smelled so good. Also, the Magic Wand Bubble Bar was $10.50. Just, just saying it now because I forgot to. The next thing I have here is the Dashing Center Bath Bomb. It smells so good. Sort of smells a little bit fruity, it's not spicy at all. It sort of smells like musk. It's just very, again, faint. Quite a few of these bath bombs and bubble bars are faint, but some of them are also really like packed full of fragrance. He's just so cute, I love him so much. This little guy was also $6.25. The next thing I have here is a Snow Angel Bath Bomb Bath Melt. Half of it is a bath melt, that is the yellow side. And the bathroom is the white side. This little guy is $9.95. To me, she smells like 
sunscreen and also like marshmallows like when you first get them out of the packet just what it smells like again very faint and lovely it also has some glitter all over the back of her she's just so nice and she's not taking my fingers the next thing i picked up is the golden wonder bath bomb and this is eight dollars fifty this actually has something inside of it i don't know what it is because i've never owned this little guy before but it is different to last year this year it has gold glitter all around where it was once just yellow um also it's got a bluish greenish inside to it so it's going to turn your water turquoise and it's gigantic like i want to know what's inside of it this smells like citrus which i am not a big fan on but i'm starting to like a little bit more it also smells like a little bit of lemon like not too much lemon just more citrus but still yeah, I'm not too sure to be honest, but it is totally citrus, so I picked up that little lot present. Now my hands are super super glittery and honestly I don't know what to do with them. Next thing I have here is the five gold rings like strand of bubble barness. This is $10.95, which is sort of pricey in my opinion. The lady in the store told us that each ring is pretty concentrated itself, so if you put the whole thing in the bath bubbles it's going to be very overpowering so I don't recommend doing that to make quite a few bubbles you really only need half a ring apparently um but I probably will put a full ring in there anyway just because I love so many bubbles to me this has a very weird scent it doesn't smell like spicy florally or musky it sort of smells fruity like those Christmas lollipops you get or something like that. It also sort of smells like the Butter Bear bath bomb they have at Christmas time. That's probably what it's reminding me of. But yeah, I picked up that for $10.95. The next bath bomb I picked up is Ship for the Stars, which is $7.50. It is pretty big. Not gonna lie. It smells like honey, in my opinion. So it's like a Christmas version of the Honey Bee Bath Bomb. So if you've never tried the Honey Bee Bath Bomb, practically smells like this. And if you've never tried this, practically smells like the Honey Bee Bath Bomb. There's nothing apart from that I can put my, my finger on, like, just honey. To me, anyway. <laughs> the next bath product I picked up is the Candy Mountain Bubble Art, which is $7.50. If you've never smelled this, you really need to. It smells so nice. It smells exactly like Snow Fairy, which I do love the scent of so much. It's so sweet, so uplifting for me, and just, it's a scent that makes me very happy. It also is so pretty. It's pink and white, so it's so girly, and just, I love it. It also has this shine, shimmering coating on it. Last year, it was only a little bit, but it's all over the product now. So here I have the Holy Go Lightly Bubble Bar. This is $10.95. One of the pricier bubble bars, but it smells so nice. It's one of the few um, spicy products they have had out this year. They haven't really had that many spicy scents. Um, but this smells like this melting snowman bath melt they previously have had in their Christmas collections. I love that guy. So this totally reminds me of it and just makes me happy that it sort of has the same scent. The next bath bomb I have here is the Yog Nog Bath Bomb, which is a new release product. It's all the golden rings, the Stardust Bath Bomb. That's about it. I haven't really got that many new products that they have released, which I don't think they've really had many. This is the Yog Nog Bath Bomb. Again, it smells very like, very much like honey. It also smells like caramel to me. It's, I think it's my favorite Christmas bath bomb, or now my favorite bath bomb ever. I love the print on the actual bath bomb. I like the colors and I love the smell. The next bath bomb I have here is Cinders, which is $5.95. This is the only other cinnamon spicy bath bomb there is. The Pop Rocks or Pop and Candy sort of smells fruity though. It just smells very, very much like cinnamon, but also like kitchen spices that you would use in the kitchen. The next bath bomb I have here is So White. This is $6.95 and is gigantic. If you've never smelled so white, you have to go smell it, guys. It smells like apples, like pure apples. It's so fresh. It's so up 
uplifting. Like it makes me feel happy when I smell it. It also has a pink center in the middle, so it changes your water pastel pink. The last bath product I have here is Father Christmas, which is six dollars ninety-five. To me, he smells like snow fairy, but also a little bit like strawberry. So there's nothing really much to say about him. Just, just smells like snow fairy. So now for the actual snow fairy, it is the snow fairy shower gel. The little description it says, add a little sparkle to your shower by cleansing this candy floss scented favorite. It smells literally like candy floss. By the way, this is also ten dollars. I nearly just did it all over myself then. Oh my gosh! Like next year, I have to get a bigger size of this. I've never tried this before, so. I decided to get the small size because of it, but yeah, I still love it. Hey guys, so if you're wondering why I'm wearing a different outfit, different makeup, and just everything's a bit different, it's because it's next week and I've actually got time to film the second part to this haul. So the next day after I already went to Lush, so the day straight after, so the Sunday, I went to Lush again and I picked up Four new Christmas items plus the Good Times Roll facial cleanser, but that's not Christmas related, so I'm not showing it. Um, but I got that also. But I just decided to just add like this part two section to the video anyway, just because you know, in Instagram pictures or whatever, my video is gonna be like, she didn't show this in the Lush haul. What's happening here? Hmm? So yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into showing you the products. So the first product for this part two section of the video is the Butter Bear. So this little guy is $5.95 and smells of butterball. He just smells like vanilla and musk. That's literally all. There's no other sweet scent to it. There's no other fruit scent. There's just vanilla and musk. It's basically butterball but a Christmas edition in a cute little teddy bear form. I have never tried him either but I have tried butterball so I'm not expecting anything different from him. So yeah, got that little bear. The next bath product I picked up is Peeping Santa. Um, I thought I picked this up um, on the other part of this video. I put it back though. Funny thing is that all the um, Peeping Santas were thrown into a basket, basket and they were all smushed and their faces looked nothing like this. So I took one that was on to display because I do YouTube and I take pictures of things and I don't want some smushed little Peeping Santa. If I was like younger and I didn't really know about social media and stuff, I wouldn't care really. This little guy is $10.95 which is pretty expensive, it's one of the most expensive bubble baths that are in the Christmas line. He just smells like snow fairy and strawberries, that's just his main sense. He is also supposed to smell like strawberries so they nailed the scent. He also reminds me of when I make little Santas that are made out of strawberries and they put whipped cream and chocolate chips in it. like. So cute. The last bath bomb, bubble bath thing I picked up is the Luxury Lush Pud. This has been out for the last three years, I'm pretty sure. This is one of the most difficult scents to describe, in my opinion. It's not fruity, it's a tiny bit sweet, it's a bit spicy. It's just a mixture of scents, but it doesn't remind me of anything. Maybe a little bit musky. I've been saying musky and musk a lot in this video and I'm really sorry about that. But this is $7.50. The last item I picked up here is the Snowman Fun. It says on the container, like a little description, and it says, A white snowball for the body, an orange carrot for a nose, and black buttons for his clothes. It's got to be a snowman. Last year it just came in this exact same pot pillared with colours to make your own snowman, but this year it comes made as a snowman, which I do like. Now, I don't know if this is a very popular scent, like the snowman dude, but this stuff is my favourite, or one of my favourite Christmas scents. If they ever discontinue this, I will be very upset. This scent is like carrots and just fresh like food. So that is actually the end of my Lush haul. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give a like. Also comment your favourite Lush Christmas item in the comments. Also if you haven't already, please subscribe. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time in the next video. Bye!